Hi everybody. Well, there's something to be said for honesty. I thought you might be interested in seeing what I, at 77 years old, look like with absolutely no makeup, but full disclosure, self-tanner. And I'm with a very old, trusted friend of mine. No, he's not very old. He's just <laughs> a very old friend. <laughs> Maurizio from the John Barrett Salon. Maurizio has done my makeup for special events for 20 years now. He knows my face. And Maurizio also does get, in general, a 55 plus clientele at the John Barrett Salon in Manhattan. So, we're gonna begin. I feel just bare naked without false eyelashes, I'm just telling you. So, um, Maurizio, what, we, you're starting with a, a liquid eyeliner? No, we're gonna start uh, with your eyes. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna use a eyeshadow base by Sure Moore. Okay, all over. I, first of all, I do the eyes first, and then I come down to the face. Now I'm see, for me, it's the exact opposite. If I'm doing my own makeup, for social media or just every day. I do foundation, a little bit of eyeliner, eyebrows, which as you can see, I have done, and a stick that works for lipstick and for contour and color. But that's a simpleton's way of doing it, not the professional way of doing it. So, okay. okay. Let's start. All right. The first step, it is this eyeshadow base all over the eyelid, from the eyebrow to the eyelash line. And that's a special base? Yes, it is. Doesn't exist anymore in the, in the United States, mm. unfortunately. I, I have this just for you for, for quite some time now. It is my last tool, by the way. And I will tell you, just in terms, of watching out for biggest change, metamorphosis. This great makeup artist, Maurizio, used to be called the Eyelash King. Okay. And all he did during Fashion Week in New York was go from house to house, fashion house to fashion house, and do every model's eyelashes and then Pack up, run to the next house, do everybody's eyelashes. That is where you will see an amazing change. If you've got good makeup or you can get, I can't do individuals, I can't even do the strip. But if you can do the strip the right way, you can tilt your eyes up, that tilts your cheeks up, that makes your jawline look firmer. In other words, it's everything. Okay, the more I talk, the longer it's gonna take. No, we're gonna, the first step after the, uh, the second step actually, after the eyeshadow base, we're gonna start with the eyeshadows. Okay, I take this lighter And part. we're doing eyelashes today. Yes, right, otherwise. over. Right, um, mm -hmm. okay, now, uh, this light color here, we're gonna go all over the eyelid, from lash to eyebrow again. Let me know if I go too heavy. Yeah. And luckily I don't have very hooded eyes. Um, so we can play with them. Not too many dark, not too many big creases to fill. Too bad we need to go somewhere special after this. Somewhere where there's a lot of good looking men. Yeah. Or not. Now I will say that as many times as Maurizio has done this for me. I've never been able to duplicate it personally. 
there is a talent to see what you can be rather than what you are sitting in front of a great makeup artist. And Maurizio has also been flown all around the world. He's done incredible wedding parties in every glamorous city on the planet and island, glamorous islands too, no joke, by the creme de la creme of society. So I, I am very lucky to count Maurizio as a friend and a great working partner and really grateful today for you all to see how a woman near 80 years old, just through the use of some base makeups, can transform herself. I'm not looking to be younger. I'm looking to be the very best me I can be in the moment. What are we doing now? I'm, I'm doing an eyeliner base with an eyeshadow. Oh. And then I do a black eyeliner over. Yeah, and you use liquid eyeliner, liquid right? Always. Which yes. I can never use. I have to use something where I can kind of schmear mistakes. Mm -hmm. So I use something very dangerous. Um, I use a very oily Bobbi Brown coal pencil. And I love it for smoky eyes. And it really translates well for social media photos. Maybe a little heavy for real life, but I'm not even sure what real life is anymore. <laughs> this is a liquid eyeliner by Tom Ford. And then we're gonna line the eyes in here. But only the top lid. Yes. Not the bottom no. lid. Okay, so in real life, I will always do the bottom lid as well. I will like But just a teeny bit of it. Yeah, but I'm gonna do the eyesh uh, eyeshadow. Yeah, you do it in a, in, yeah, you do it because you've got talent for doing it. You know, I do want to say in all the years that I was on television, QVC HSN, almost 30 years total, I never once paid attention to the makeup. It was like, you sit there, you're talking, you're gossiping, you're wondering about your wardrobe, you're listening to the show order, you're trying to change that. Uh, producers are walking in, directors are walking in. And quite frankly, it was tedious for, make, for really, for makeup, for television. It took almost two hours. And somewhere along the way, early in the process, my brain would just zone out. And that was what the makeup artist who was local had done TV. But Maurizio, I would have to go to the salon maybe three hours before the flight, have Maurizio do the lashes and then rush to LaGuardia to fly down to Tampa. My makeup artist in Tampa she was like me. She couldn't do lashes at all. Did you know that? Yeah. You told me. I, ha! Yeah, here come here the they lashes. are. Clumps. <clears throat> and watch the way. See my little beady eyes right now? Watch the way they get bigger. Watch the way they start to slant. It's everything. It does take a little time. And we're using black glue, right? Black glue, yes. Waterproof. So we use waterproof, but we use black glue so it adds to the color. Build up on my uh, upper lid. And don't think I haven't asked for lower lashes too, but no, not getting them. And this, I could never duplicate. This is impossible for me. The rest of it, for every day, I could do a pretty good job. But the lashes, impossible. I can't even put on a pre-made strip. 
it ping bounces off every time. Don't know why. Have to say, there's just some things in life you're never going to be good at. For me, eyelashes. Application of is one of them. And you know, if, if you're buying makeup, if you're looking at this and saying, you know what, I can kind of do a version of it. Honestly, sometimes the best lashes for us girls are, are something very simple. You get it out of the drugstore or Amazon. You just have to kind of fool around with it. And the one trick I learned, if I'm shutter forced to do it myself because when we do is on vacay or something or being flown off to do a celebrity wedding in Monaco um put some glue on your lid and let it dry for a couple of seconds till it's not wet but it's tacky and then put the strip on now that semi worked for me, but not totally. And trust me, I know plenty of people that do it. I'm just not talented that way. And I don't feel natural unless we put them on. Uh -huh. Usually like the last two days of the week, I'll take them off to give my eyelids a rest, but the rest of the time, they're like body armor. I have tried so many times to put on my lashes, and it, Maritza has even given me strips and said, okay, you can do it with this. Nope, not. I think we should go out for lunch after this. Maurizio thinks we should go out for lunch after this. Okay. And I don't use concealer. I just go for a total foundation, which is... Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Why do I like it? It gives you coverage. It isn't drying. It doesn't go into a lot of creases. And honestly, Airbrush Flawless for photography, but really every day, it's pretty good. I used to use Tom Ford Stick Foundation. Too oily. And I've got dry skin, so I tend to put on a lot of products for dryness. Now, you have not used this before, so you tell me what you think. I love the coverage. It's a very good coverage. You and, like the coverage? Yeah, and the color is very good in you. Yeah, I love the color. And that is not easy, because I bought it online. I got it on Net-A-Porter, and I just sort of figured out that looked close enough. And I would also say, if there was one, just one, um, for any kind of special event or photo shoot, product and person where I say, I, I need it, it is the very foundation of my whole look, I would say two things hair and lashes. Give me those, I can conquer the world. It's almost like if you have a good set of lashes, the rest of the makeup, not much can go wrong. Let me see. It's 
sometimes they just stick a little bit together. And I think, Maurizio, we do a mix of something in between every day and special event, right? Yes. Yeah. Almost. Sometimes I will say to Maurizio, it's too much. We've got to do everyday lashes. So we just use shorter lashes and space them out a little. But since now, I'm a Silverella contributor on social media and we do a lot of um, short photo sessions. Now, mostly it's beyond every day. It's coming alive. What's that? Uh, makeup remover. Oh, <laughs> and it's all bubbly like that? Yeah, I'll, I'll cleanse the makeup remover. Okay. And what's that for? Under my eyes mm -hmm. and stuff? To clean up a little bit so can, I can do the... Uh, See, I always do up. because I make so many mistakes. I use that soft cold pencil from Bobby Brown and I can smush it with my fingers, but Maurizio is professional. Okay. My lashes are sticking together. That always happens. Concealer. Now the smoke and mirrors begin. So this is supposed to have particles of mica in it that actually reflect light and therefore diminish uh, wrinkles, brown spots, which I have a lot of, especially because I use uh, self-tanner, which is from the drugstore. I use something like Jergens self-tanner, and I find all those expensive products so complicated to put on. I don't find them superior at all. So one thing we do want to say about this makeup session, this is a totally high-low session. Some of the stuff is a little on the expensive side. Most of it, very, very either high or low, drugstore. But most of it, you can, I think your most expensive product should always be your foundation and your biggest challenge will be false lashes. And I will say this, if you are past 55 and you've still got lashes, God bless you. And one of the products that I found before I went through breast cancer, my lashes never really came back fully, was um, Maybelline. And I, I know that because all the models on TV raved about Maybelline mascara. So there's another product that is drugstore and considered A++. Putting me together is just to say, whether you're 55, 65, 75 like me, you can still look beautiful in your own right you're gonna to have to play around with it a little, and isn't that fun? I love that. Yeah, eyebrows. Uh-oh. Want to explain first why you're doing it? I'll do it while I'm doing okay. it. So, ooh! Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful your lashes are. Oh, I wish I could do lashes. Um, nobody can do my eyebrows but me. I have my own vision for how I arch them up and I use a product, Hourglass. Why? For one simple reason, almost no other products in that range are for gray or white hair. Now I use this and I either use blonde or platinum blonde, depending on the day, depending on 
Is it really sunny outside? Do I want a darker lash, which I usually do for, um, you see, I'm messing it up already. That's okay, no worries. Okay. Um, I usually like a darker eyebrow when I'm doing any kind of social media photography. It just shows up better. But one thing for sure, ladies, if you've got white or gray hair, you know the challenges to finding any product that is serving you and I directly. So I don't think they really did this for white hair. I think they did it for blondes and it works for me, but I had to go through a lot of trial and error to find it. And Maurizio knows how fussy I am about my eyebrows and the shape. So he gave up trying to do them. <laughs> so it's always okay, you do them, which is fine. I make a pretty dramatic eyebrow. It looks lovely. Thank you. you he said it well. looks lovely. Yeah, you do very well. Thank you. Very, very well. Look how beautiful it looks already. But the eye, eyelashes to me are the whole deal. Okay, I'm gonna under eyeliner your eyes with a little eyeshadow. Just to have a little smoky eye. Ooh. I know. He says, I know. Yeah, I know the feeling. And I love the way he does it. I personally can't do it. Although I think I'm going to buy one of these products at the John Barrett salon and try. Um, it would be better for me to be using a powder based eyeshadow to do my big smoky eyes than to be doing a, an oily cream shadow base. But what can you do? Do you want to talk about blush or are you okay? Blush is easy. I use a blush stick that honestly, I bought off Amazon for like $11 and I love it. But Maurizio likes to use a powder base, especially if we're going to do some photography afterwards. So um, I like a rosy cheek. And once you get the eyelashes on and the eyebrow arch, then you kind of know where you're going with that line because this is gonna sculpt the face. And you may have um, a lot of your own favorite products at home, but you never thought about putting them on in this order or really becoming a pioneer of doing your own lashes, but um, it definitely makes a difference. How you walk out the door says a lot about who you are and who you want people to think of you as. It's a visual society. What are we doing now? I'm just sculpting your face a little bit. Sculpting. And I've got a lot of freckles and stuff to cover up too. So, how we doing? Do you Can I see? Of course. Do you, want, do you want a little bit of highlighter or? Yeah, yeah. I want highlighter. Okay. Oh, the eyes are so beautiful. Did you use lilac? Yes. I oh, have, it's so love. romantic. I it's love when you. Gorgeous. Okay. We thought you did the blush and then I do a highlighter. And if you want a secret, the real secret, and I taught it to myself from being in front of a TV camera for 30 years, I put foundation on the top of my hands and depending on what I'm wearing, on my neck and my chest. 
and truthfully, that's a lifesaver. A lot of us, as we age, get a lot of veins in our hands that are not that attractive. And they're also one of the major points of aging, as is your neck and your chest, because you don't have any oil glands here. So you're not nourishing that skin constantly and naturally. Um, use the same foundation you use on your face. And frankly, when you moisturize yourself, you should use your facial foundation on your neck, your chest, and the top of your hands. I think you look great. He thinks I look great. Yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> And it didn't take long. No. You know, it took half an hour at the most. Now, for me doing it, it's going to take 10 minutes because I don't know all the tricks Maurizio knows. But um, they say better to look good than feel good, Billy Crystal. But personally, I think if you look good, you feel good. So why not feel good every day? Just delineate 20 minutes of your life. Even if you're home alone, put on a little foundation. Put on that eyeliner, those eyebrows. And you will not believe what a mood elevator it is. What's next? Uh, Lee, do you want to explain that you don't like no color in your lips? Okay, so for me, and I wish I could. I would love to be one of those red lipstick girls, but it drags my whole face down. It's like all my features just recede and all you see are these lips. So I feel that for me, it's more youthful to have a totally natural lip and it blends in to the face and then the eyes and the cheekbones become the stars of the picture along with the big white hair. And I would never do this. I just smear it on. Actually, the, um, the gel stick I use on my cheeks, mm -hmm. I also use on my lips. And that is that Amazon product, so easy to find. But if you're in a store like Sephora, um, you'll find plenty of that kind of product, especially from the inventor, NARS, N-A-R-S. Okay. Oh, please. Oh, we need to do a photo shoot. We can't waste this, it's too good. <laughs> and you know what? Most of this, except for the lashes, I can duplicate myself. I think it's very important to find the right products that really work for you and your skin type and your hair color and you're 80% of the way there. And then if you're lucky enough to have a friend like Maurizio, who's a total professional, then you know what? It might, even in your town, if you've ever been in a wedding party and the bride, the family hired a makeup artist to do everybody, mother of the bride and, and the bridesmaids as well, um, you might go to that person and just ask for one session and just go through product by product in front of a big mirror, how they do it. And it can be a really good guideline. But here I am at almost 78 years old and feeling quite glam, but with a really gentle, soft, everyday look. I love it. Thank you. 